teacher in class and then this boy came into class he started chatting with us and then he told us something very funny he said he had this girlfriend who looked very pretty on the outside and she had a figure eight and everything and he could die for this girl so one day he invited the girl over to his place and he tried making advances towards the girl sexually and the girl was like no i can't do this so he understood that the girl was not into sex and all of that but guess what the girl had hygiene problems he told us that once the girl removed her pants he heard the sound of me Shh. oh my gosh guys this is terrible the girl had a terrible odor that smelled like rotten fish and all of that Hi, it's your girl Kibopsi again on episode 3 of Minutes with Kibopsi. Today we're going to be talking about something amazing, something that every girl would like to learn from, something that I didn't have the chance to learn when I was growing up because I was shy and because the people around me were shy as well. Today we're talking about vulva and vaginal care. Yes! <laughs> okay, before I go into it, please, please people, don't feel shy or anything. Trust me, even if you're a teenager or you're an adult or you're a mom or whoever you are, even the guys, get yourself in here and watch this video. You can help a sister, you can help your partner, you can help anybody around you. So let's get started. The first thing in vagina and vulva care we should know is, first of all, do not wash your vulva. Okay, permit me to call it V. Do not wash your V with hot water. Wash your V with warm water. Wash with warm water. Just look warm water. It doesn't have to be hot or cold. Just look warm in general. Okay? Next thing you have to understand is, I'm sure you've heard a lot of people say you don't have to um, use soap or any detergent and all of that to wash because it's a sensitive area. Okay, if you don't have to use soap, it's fine. You can go ahead with water, but if you have to use soap, it doesn't have to be scented soap. So you can use like baby soap, you can use any soap that's not scented and don't use any harsh detergents because these are carrying chemicals that are too, too harsh for that kind of sensitive area. So it promotes the growth of bacteria in these places and it could cause vaginal infections or an odor or itches or whatever it may be so avoid using hard detergents if you have to use soap it has to be mild soap mild soap okay so so you don't have to because the vaginal is a, it's a self is self-cleaning um part of the body it cleanses itself on its own through the discharges that we have so when you have those discharges know that this is the back this is the, the dirt in you that's coming out Okay, the dirt that's coming out so you don't have to do the cleaning yourself too much because the vagina cleans itself on its own so you don't have to send your hand right deep inside trying to clean it no it has to be like just on the surface mild soap if you have to use soap and if you don't have to use soap you go with water just try to like wash it properly you know just wash it properly but water or mild soap is fine something that we have to avoid is Things that have um, fragrance, like you know, this bubble bath. A lot of people use bubble bath like all the times, like continuously. It is not um, advisable to use those things. Like, like once in a while, you can have a cool, nice bubble bath with fragrances and all of this. You know, you know the lavenders and whatever that um, ladies like to have. It's kind of like a romantic setting, or it just makes you feel cool. But try to avoid those things don't do it as often as possible because it causes more harm than good trust me it causes more harm than good so just do it once in a while if you have to if not it's good like don't okay another thing that promotes infections in the V area is when the V is wet when it's wet, it's a big problem. It causes itches because the fungus, the fungus that causes these itches, grows rapidly. It grows rapidly in a wet and warm environment. And since you know that area down there is always warm, you know, so you have to keep it dry. Because there are certain times when it's infected, you notice that there's it's like a reddish, it's reddish kind of, and um, it's swollen, and then it itches. That's when you know that it's infected. So how, how do you keep this? How do you avoid scenarios like this? What you need to do is avoid scratching it. 
when it's itching avoid scratching it you can use a cube of ice in a glove or in something maybe in a, in a cloth or something and like gently rub it on the area to avoid to reduce to stop it from being itchy but always keep it dry 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 i remember back in a um, boarding school days when we used to do wash and wear <laughs> we used to do wash and wear like maybe you're running out of pants i don't know how that's possible but we used to run out of pants maybe somebody just comes and steals your whole you know the hunger and with all your stuff on it and then you're stranded so maybe you have just the one that you had on you don't have the means to go out and buy and you don't, you, they don't sell those things in the canteen and all of that so what we do is we wash it the one we're wearing we put it in a towel squeeze you know <laughs> and wear it again so that's what you usually do so it's not fully dry it's still wet so these are the causes because it makes the area very moist you know the area is very moist and warm and then the fungus grows rapidly now the, a lot of fungi and it causes now the infections then you know after the itches and everything and if you start having this you know that smell like um you know like rotten fish it's terrible it's terrible most girls most girls if you if you if you notice if you don't um keep the area very clean you would start having this kind of smell which is really really terrible and since we don't want to have this that's the best way to keep it really really dry at all times you don't even need to rub any oil on it or whatever just rub the area around your thighs you know that's good just avoid the area so just keep it dry so um, there are many ways to really let it dry because you must be asking like how on earth can it be like dry all the time when you have to use the washroom all the time maybe you pee and all of that and blah 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 it like i advise to wear free clothes if you have like free clothes like free wears um we locally call it my country we call it kabai we have kabai it's very good or even a dress or whatever just wear something free or if you live in an area where you're not sharing with any guys or whatever just just be with your pants or you be with shorts just something that can easily um, allow ventilation because you need air this air has to dry otherwise otherwise it's also advisable to use your um, your, your, your hair dryer the, the hair dryer put it on cool you can use it when it's like really really infected and you really need to keep it dry you can use your hair dryer put it on cool and just like put it away and just kind of like you know just blow it to keep the area really dry so you can avoid smells and itches infections and all of that okay and uh, another thing that we should really take into serious consideration is shaving like it's not healthy um, a lot of people like to keep it bushy um, it's not okay you can keep it bushy and clean but it doesn't have to be like super bushy like some people like it when it's um you know <laughs> some people like it when it's hairy you know some people like it when it's really like um bald totally bald okay so what i'll say is you can either keep it bald or you keep it low it has to be low so those thick bushes also when you keep the bush for too long what happens is your hair falls off your hair falls off when your hair falls off and it's it's still there in your underwear it, one or two things will happen and it has to go back you go back inside and when that hair goes inside you it causes infections those are like the kind of causes of infection that's why it's good to keep it low or you bald it but since some people like have very sensitive skin when they try to bow it it gives them like bumps and all of that so just keep it low nice and clean that's it another tip for us another tip that is very very essential especially for um kids who just get into adolescence and nobody told them you're gonna do this when you're on your menses and do this one. so when you're on your menses it's good to always always like change your part frequently change your part frequently like though you don't have to be totally stained and all of that before you change your part no i personally personally i i, I don't like to stay too long with a part on so whenever i use the washroom i don't feel like i can wear back the same part so um i'll also advise you look, try to like um, change change the part as as often as possible 
because you know that your your body is already removing something that smells you understand your body already removes something that smells so i mean taking it back into yourself and all of that like you really have to this is a very hyper moment you have to clean up like change your part very often and wash 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 even if you don't have to take a shower three times a day or whatever but at least take a shower like wash that area you understand what i mean like some people <laughs> some people don't don't i mean don't just take showers like three four or five or whatever times a day especially when they're on their menses but at least wash that area i just remember something there was a time when um i lived in edea cameroon those who know Edea should understand what I'm saying. Like it is crazy hot, crazy hot. I I took a shower five times a day, five, one, two, three, four, five times a day. Not because I'm super hygienic, no. But you know, if you know Edea, they have not only the heat is a problem, but they have these midgets. Like the midgets just kiss all over your body, like everywhere and it's terrible so the only place where you feel really safe is under the shower <laughs> oh my god so i was taking this shower not because i really want to feel clean but because i want that's a comfort zone so sometimes i just take my chair and i sit under the shower and i'm like okay kill me now <laughs> so it's it's crazy i just remember that moment so i'm not saying like i'm a type of person who takes a shower like three four five times again i am not like I am not I'm not gonna lie to you I'm guilty about this one but if you are also the kind of person like me who doesn't take a shower three four five times th like three I mean five times exaggerating or four times three times a day perfect all you need to do is try to wash that area that's one of the most sensitive areas wash that area wash it wash it if you feel that you're not gonna take a shower just wash the area whatever you go to the washroom or whatever just wash the area and uh, Another thing is when you're on your menses, don't use toilet tissue. Okay, if you're stranded somewhere or whatever, okay, you can use it. But don't use toilet tissue like a habit. You can get pad always. That's that's the one that's most recommended to um I don't know, most ladies use it always. Especially the one with wings, so that it doesn't fall off. So always with wings is what I would prefer. So and I'll recommend it to you uh the longer ones the smaller ones whatever size you want is good but use don't 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 avoid using toilet tissue why that's because toilet tissue is soft and when it soaks up it becomes like um it becomes i mean it, it wears off and you know the small particles can easily go up into your system and when this goes up this is dirt already it's dirt when it goes up into your system it becomes something else it causes you infections we we really want to keep ourselves clean we really want to keep ourselves clean for ourselves and to keep it clean for other people because nobody wants the smell of rotten fish i mean nobody wants to, to, to feel uncomfortable because it's that close to them i mean it's terrible so we just want to keep ourselves clean and another thing some girls repeat their underwear i'm trying to see how possible this is i mean it is so unadvisable how can you even repeat your underwear? It doesn't even make sense. How can you wear pants now and then you take a shower, for example, and you wear the same pants? Hello? It is not even advisable. Always, always have clean panties. Always wash your underwears and, and, and never repeat your underwears. Okay, for bra, you can repeat a bra. I mean, it's not a big deal to repeat a bra. It's not like it's not like a sensitive issue, like a sensitive place. You can repeat a bra. You can wear it one, two times, and you wash or whatever. But please don't repeat your pants. Don't repeat your pants. Don't repeat. It should be clean. Always change it. I know guys, so many guys will always repeat and all of that, maybe because they have an external genital or whatever, but girls, don't do that, don't do that, okay, don't repeat. And another thing is, uh, the reason why um, uh, maybe your, your V is going to have a smell sometimes is because of tights, 
sometimes we girls wear a lot of tights you see a girl who's gonna wear her pants and then she wears like a corset on top of it and then she wears like a boxer and after on, on top of the boxer she wears again like uh, um, jean pants this is already too much information too much information so it causes your V to sweat and when it sweats this way it already like like it, there's too much moisture and there's too much warmth and then the bacteria just like woo, just grows and then you're infected yeast infection or whatever infection so try to like okay it's normal like these days we have we wear a lot of corsets yes that's true we wear a lot of corsets when you want to look sexy or maybe when you want to fit into a particular clothes or something yeah you can wear your corset like you wear your pants you wear a corset it's fine but if you step out and you come back home please remove it immediately come back home remove it don't stay long hours with it don't spend the night with all of those things it is too like whenever you come back home just remove it take off all of those things and stay with your panties some people don't even say it's healthy to stay um sleep at night without pants okay i don't know about that but it's fine like uh you might feel uncomfortable but it's fine if you can do it so I hope you liked my video. I hope you learned from it, whether you're a teenager, adult, or whatever you are, a, a lady or a guy who's going to tell a lady. I hope you learned something amazing. And if you have more tips that you want to tell me as well, put it down in the comment section. It's your girl, Eugenia. You can find me on Facebook, Minutes with Kibopsi, Instagram, Eugenia Kibi, and here on YouTube, Kibi Bekene. Thank you and have a lovely, hygienic moment.